Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duo video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we'll be talking about the uh, vehicle's priority list and which uh, units you need to build up to 6 out of 6, which ones you need to leave at 3 out of 6 at least for the moment, and which are that's not used everywhere. And uh, if you see the list, I say first one is sure pay to win because I'll be talking about it now when I put the units and you'll understand why. And the 36 out of 6, which units will uh, scale up if you use them and you need them to build them as much as possible with their cars. And the ones that are, uh, they unlock their most beneficial utility when you get them to 6 out of 6. The ones that are viable when they reach 6 out of 6, they unlock their potentials. And the ones that are situational and not important. Some of them are important, but situational, some of them are not important actually. So we're starting off, we have this entire pay to win units. These all are available by purchases. You can't summon for them. You can't have them unless you purchase them. Or buy them and there's one is free to play okay which is uh fashion blanca now for fashion blanca you need him six out of six you can go 36 out of six or keep him at six out of six that's up to you but he's 100 percent want to build his vehicles fully because he's one of the carries that will uh deal so much damage and he can tank a little bit and survive because of his shields now all the others are paid to win 100 percent you need to pay money to get them uh, if you tell me uh, Virgil and Dante are not that pay to win because we can summon them by tickets before, uh, they are collab characters. Uh, if you went and summoned for them, even if you're free to play and you got them to triple S, why not get them to 6 out of 6? Why bothering and get them to triple S without having them built? All of them are good, all of them are uh, amazing when you build them for the 6 out of 6 will add a lot of utility. Some people were telling me uh, why Sakura, Sakura is not important to build out of 6 out of 6. If you bought her, why not build her 6 out of 6? You want to buy her for collection and use just keep her there? Just build her 6 out of 6, you're gonna use her. Her SS is amazing and in PvP she helps you a lot. She deals a lot of damage, she triggers, she heals. She's a good unit, she's not a bad unit actually. So these are the pay to win characters. Now the 36 out of 6, of course, we're gonna start and put all of these units here and of course Dalsim. Dalsim is the only unit, as you see, not Master or Inferno or Legendary or whatever. He's the only unit that you need to get him to 36 out of 6. You need, it's a must to get him to 36 out of 6. Why is Dalsim that important? Dalsim is the only unit in this game that doesn't have a cap for his damage or he doesn't reach the maximum damage and stop growing he keeps growing he keeps getting the flame stacks or the fire stacks that gives him attack and gives him more more damage so as much high as you build him if you can go with his uh if they get a release for him soul power he's the first unit for me to get him to plus 100 or more than 100 if i can if it's possible and if you check all the leaderboards when we have the same teams uh in events that I'm using Dalsim and other teams that having Dalsim, they deal always less damage than me. Why my Dalsim does insane damage? Because I'm almost at the 36 out of 6 cars. Uh, as of today, he's 30 cars out of 36. So uh, 6 more cars and my Dalsim will be completely finished with the vehicles and he deals insane damage. One other one is uh, Ivarayu. He's insane everywhere used. He's the second broken unit in the game after... Uh, Gormagala can. Uh, there's no other units that are broken as much as these two. These two, him and Gormagala can. Gormagala can also, you could put him on 36, but I'm gonna keep him in the pay to win so you understand what I'm talking about. These are the two units that are the most broken in this game and they deal insane damage. They can carry you so far. Now, as for Oni, he's a new character that have been released. Why the 36 out of 6 is important for him? The more that you build damage and attack to him, the more that multiplier increases and he deals soul damage, which is equivalent to pure damage, which equal to wiping your enemy, especially in PvP and in progression. He's your main carry in progression. If you build him, he's like you have Guile, you have Viper, you have uh, Fashion Blanca, you have Dalsim, and you have him as for the fifth team. If you don't have him, I would suggest building Trendy Kami. She's AOE also. She's dealing thunder damage and she's having shock. And shock is the most broken debuff in the game. 
of course, uh, beside uh, weaken. And burn, burn sometimes when it stacks a lot, it will de deal damage, but shock will multiply the damages, which is so important. So building these units are insane. And we have Akuma. Now why Akuma? Akuma is the fastest damage dealer in the game. So you click his super, his his other skill is ready after you click his super. So you click his super, any C1 that is fast, like we play him mostly with Athe Chun-Li, you click his super, Athe Chun-Li, then his C2, immediately back to back, he will go and delete somebody. That's how fast he is. And uh, the more damage that you give him, the more the more stats that you give him, the more damage that he does, which is the only uh, unit that is also, we can say, very accessible to free to play since he's the first one to be released as limited character and we all started building him. Myself, I need one copy to get him to SS plus, four more copies to, to triple S, which is insane. Um, yeah, if, if I knew that more characters as broken as Eva Ryu will be released, I would be going for Eva Ryu, not Akuma first. But if you build Akuma, you need to continue building him. Every point that you give him, every star that you level him, every soul power, every uh, exclusive that you give him to plus 40 probably, you will be insane. So these are the ones that you go for maximum uh, build. Now, the other units, I'm gonna put these here and I'm gonna talk why, okay? So you're gonna see me spamming these, not explaining anything, why we should build them, why we should have them. I will tell you why. It's just like what I said with the pay to win, okay? These are the free to play pay to win units, okay? This is the free to play pay to win units. You're paying from your free to play currency to build one of these, which is so hard to build in the game. If you max these units to triple S, why not get them to six out of six cars? Like you're gonna tell me that you, you went and divined for jewelry, uh, uh, divination rose, gan, or anybody. Let's say who's the most useless one because it's bugged. It has a lot of problems. Gan or 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 uh, jewelry. Why go for divination and build them up to triple S and not have them to six out of six? They will be useful. The six out of six of all of these is good. Is really insane and really good and helpful for your team. And these are what you you just summon them with limited. Uh, with uh, divination it means you're going and spending the most expensive currency in the game right now more expensive than the limited characters these characters are more expensive as for summoning not as for opt obtaining you can obtain them from shop from events you can obtain them from normal fragments but they're expensive for summons you can summon for anything else why you want to summon for any of these units masters and infernals just masters and infernals and not build them to six out of six excluding uh summer elena of course summer elena is a limited character so it's considered semi pay to win and you can get her on divination after you get her to triple s and she's super important for six out of six you cannot move without having her at six out of six if you get her to triple s that's important all of these are important now we're gonna speak why the others are the normal factions are should be six out of six or three out of six so we start with zangief zangief negates passives we know all of that we know his six out of six what is it, it doesn't need, need more explanation he's a bison killer now viper viper will give you energy shield uh, at three out of six six out of six the energy uh shields or the energy uh potions or or buff that she gives you will not be removed when the shield is removed so you need her now guile three out of six is not that important it's for range attacks on your uh lineup but uh, when you build him, you will uh, for six out of six, you get more two more saber stacks will, will almost double his damage or uh, give you a 75 to 60 percent more damage of his uh, damage output come. So he's so important and he's your carry. So the more you build him, the more he deals damage. I'm not saying you can't go with these units also to 36. You can. It's up to you. But these are the must and these are the up to you. OK. Uh, Poison also, Shin is another carry, so underrated in the game. I still say she's even dealing more damage on higher stages than Viper and then uh, Guile uh, in, in story mode and tower. Now, uh, Chun Li also 33, uh, 6 out of 6 because her crits will buff your team, you'll buff your crits, she'll deal more damage, and she will give you combo meter, which is insane. Elena now. Especially in PvP, you need her to 6 out of 6 because if you have the 6 out of 6, she's gonna drop in the battlefield at the start of, uh, of the game. Uh, do a hurricane tower and uh, grant you uh, energy combo meter. Even if they're faster than you, you'll have your combo meter full. You're gonna start at the same time. So Elena is a must-have to 6 out of 6. Uh, Blanca also 
Normal Blanc has six cards out of uh, for him will enable the Electric Claw to give you counter attack and stun, and you will gain also more Electric Claw on the other teams and the shield for your units, which is insane. He's a really good unit. I use him in the tower. He stuns. I don't need to use stuns. He passively stuns with the six out of six. Now Summer Yang, also important. Some people are dismissing his six out of six. It's really good. Having him on six cards will return damage when you have the shield on up to 30% I think of the damage uh, not exceeding 300% of the attack of the enemy that hits you so 30% of the attack that they hit you with will get uh, to their face but doesn't exceed the 300% of summary attack I guess now uh, Kami so I would say situational but here why if you built Kami as your boss uh, bossing unit you're free to play you started your account or you're mid your uh, game and you summoned for these units and you don't have a bossing unit and if you built here somebody uh, from uh, what I'm talking about is all the for bossing but if you don't have accept you have like Dalsim and you have one copy of, of uh, Eva Ryu and you want somebody to get you that this is what got me through the early game and mid game I built her to 36 uh, to 6 out of 6 plus 30 and she got me in the top ranks always I was competing because uh, she ramps up and she, it gained more damage and her passives procs all the time now Let's talk about the three R6. The first one is Abel. Now hear me out. I know you keyboard warriors were gonna jump in the comment section, but listen to this. Abel, his three R6 is the same as the six R6, but the six cars will buff him to have it to stack to six times. So you need to get hit six times, not four times. His when you get him to three cars, he will be able to stand his lines on the without getting one shot or one tap by auto attack by your enemy you can progress and this is the pivotal point for him same as for honda with three cards uh you're gonna have the wall will, will negate uh ranged attacks that gets uh hit to his face so he can sustain a little bit and don't die from auto attack from the enemies or proc his desperation at the start of the battle and then after you get them slowly slowly whenever you build your main cores and your carries you can go for six out of six for both of them it's not bad it's also good now zangief or beast zangief the the most uh, break point for this character to be super uh functional is the three uh cars because he will gain more percentage 20 percent more for the stuns on him so whenever he does his spin he will stun more this is why we go uh, for the three cars it's super important on him now, if you go for six cars, whenever the units are stunned, so he stuns for one second, within this one second, if the enemy take damage, you will, they will take 60% more damage, which is also good. I would go for six out of six always for him, but the pivotal point for him and the breaking point for him to be super good is the three out of six. Now, Mommy Dalsim, with the introduction of him in the game, uh, his three out of six is the most valuable thing for him not the six out of six the six out of six will decrease the crit rate that you get but or the crit rate that they deal the enemy that they deal but uh with three cards you will increase decrease the healing that the enemy receives from their self and uh they will he will reduce the damage that they output for you by five percent which is helpful a little bit for mitigation and sustainability el fuerte also three out of six will increase the the chances for you to have uh, armor break on your enemy and bleed on your enemy so he will uh, increase his effect effect accuracy for them and that's it if you go for six out of six he will buff his guacamole which is good if you're using him for his guacamole but the more important that we need him is to buff his uh, effect accuracy on bleed and armor break so uh the twins uh yan and yang so if you're building them on a main team, if you have them on a main lineup on a team, I would say go for 6 out of 6. Not only 3 out of 6, important to go 6 out of 6 on these two, but they're situational. If you don't build them for them to have a specific lineup or team, plus 30, 6 out of 6 with full gear, you need, uh, of course, one trigger unit on the lineup also with them. It will help uh, Jan a lot. With 6 out of 6, it will help everybody, but with the 3 out of 6, it also works on trigger, so you have the double effect and uh more crit rates more crit more everything crit damage crit rate over damage he stacks uh with them together they buff each other on the lineup uh but the thing is they are not the meta they used to be the meta when these all of these units were not released and we didn't have they were uh the top pvp team one of the top pvp teams but they've fallen off with the introduction of new units now mayor cody he's also situational if you build him he can tank survive his uh three out of six 
will make him uh, if you kill the enemy that he's in duel with he will gain 40 percent of the hp he can tank and mean a little bit and increase his damage so it his stacks of damage on six out of six is three because there's uh, three units that he will be in duel with you kill them and he gains the buff and uh, situational not that important now i would say fei long is the is the one to put in the first of the list he's to be in your head if you built him to be on your main lineup as a tag or on your main lineup to use his c1 which is the most important thing to use with him as a buffer for only flame damage flame uh faction not damage flame faction so if you play fashion blanca and you use his c1 fashion blanca will kill his yoryuken and it will not work so you need full flame it means viper or uh adon or whatever you're running as flame with him so flame starts use his c1 flame faction continues and this is how you gain the buff from him you absolutely need to build him to six out of six he will buff your uh, team insanely but because he works for the entire uh, lineup flame damage not only flame faction if you have him on assist we never build him to that but if you want to use him on main lineup of course go for six out of six of him this is why he's situational also situational not that important uh combat guile i wouldn't even build him uh he's so if you if you get him to six out of six if you if he is your main carry at the early game and you built him completely and ignored everybody else and ignored the youtube ignored the guides the discord everything you're so stubborn to build him go for six out of six other than that he's not that much needed dicapri also her three out of six is a little bit important because of his execute if she executes somebody with the guardian mark if that she's not worth the build now guy i would put him before these guy will improve his uh shadow attack and on three out of six and six out of six if the enemy if your lineup kills an enemy he will go and do it again not that important also situational his damage ramp up a little bit but it's not noticeable now uh dj i would say he's the best one in the flame faction as a tanker as a hardcore tank and he buffs the shield that he gets on three out of six and on six out of six buffs every shield from the start of the game from the start of the battle upon entering the battle if everybody gains shield let's say from shelter it will be buffed a little bit and that's it super worthless i would say don't do it because he has a shield you can put him with no cars and he will tank okay for you actually uh, T-Hawk will grant immunity at the start of the battle or one control immunity one control immunity at the start of the battle with a three out of six for himself with six out of six the entire team so if you get stunned the first time you don't get stunned the second time you will stunned. it's really worthless it's not used and we tried the street poison so much the only why we build her for six out of six we all built her for six out of six late because we're using her c1 and we don't want her to drop into the battle and get killed the six cards give her more stats so she, she can sustain and get survivability we built her to plus 20 mainly some people built her to plus 30 which is also not super used it's not that good we tried to start with her super because this is what her uh, cars does her super will give you more damage if you continue the combo chain so we we tried her it doesn't work that much it gave us bad results now hugo will grant potato at the start of the battle or when you get to 10 potatoes his six out of six is a little bit good but i would say build anybody else instead of building him at the start it will help you uh but i would say he's a better tank than dj with the six out of six because dj is just from the start of the game you just get the shields it's not that important mad ryu if you're one of the stubborn old school people for this game and you just love mad ryu you built him from the start you made the mistake but you're too stubborn to understand that or to admit that you were wrong that and you still say that he's the most op and broken yeah sure build him for six out of six other than that uh, he's garbage um for uh charming dudley now charming dudley cars is a little bit effective against healing teams so if you're fighting rose uh diviner rose uh elena anybody that heals the enemy lineup if he grants them uh the black mark rose or whatever rose he have on the enemy 75 percent of that healing that is transferred to him will transfer to the entire team and that's it so very niche not needed don't build it uh increases the combo uh, counter attack gives the team a little bit of counter attack also not needed uh it's very situational i would never build it on him even that i love to use him i use his c1 consistently uh makoto she needs a lot of time to develop her uh her q or key 
on her so it needs like four or five rotations which is disappointing because i love this character but yeah her cards are not that important even if she's your main tank uh, like you need super sustainability for her a lot of stuns and read rise so she can be a carry which is she's a tank she doesn't need to carry but yeah uh this is how they built her i hope she they do a whole rework for her she's one of my favorite units Aidon, uh, still a bullshit unit, I'm not gonna talk about it. So, um, that was it for the list. Uh, let me know your opinions if we should put somebody else on the 36 out of 6, excluding the pay to win. Anybody who you put on 36, I would understand. Excluding Master and Infernals, anybody who would you put on 36 out of 6 cards, I would even understand, they're valuable. But uh, let me know if you have like your idea like, oh no, Pika, you're mistaken. If you put Abel at 36 cars, he will tank even more, even that I tried it on pay to win and he still dies the same as 6 out of 6. But share with me your opinion. I'm not going to say anything. I just want to like see what you think about the list and what do you think about in general about the units uh, that you have built. Yeah, and that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fight. Time to fight.